Greetings, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You are now tuned in to Terry the Gangsta Goddess 777 Tara reading. And thank you to Love Modus for this beautiful happiness frequency. And if you guys are interested in listening to frequencies or affirmations, uh, Love Modus, Mind in Unison, Good Vibes, are really good okay now when you do listen to these i want you to listen with discernment if it doesn't feel right to you don't listen to it all right your body knows use your intuition all right beautiful scorpios so guys the first card that popped out for you is sensitivity and this comes from Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. So beautiful souls, protect your energy. If your body feels exhausted, go to sleep. Don't ignore your feelings. Honor your feelings and honor yourself. Now, just bear with me one moment. Just had to reset the frequency really quickly. All right. So, the next card, Scorpios, is Clear Sentience. And this comes from Archangel Ragil. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. And beautiful Scorpios, so... This goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Don't ignore your feelings. <laughs> energy is energy. I'm sorry. Emotions are energy in motion, okay? So you got to feel energy. You got, I'm sorry, you got to feel your feelings. You got to feel emotions. I'm getting a little tired. I do apologize, guys. So, the next card is leadership. And this comes from Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So beautiful Scorpios, if you have seeked God within you, you felt God's love, you've healed and you're learning information that has been on your DNA, then it is now your turn to start sharing the information. Start lovingly guiding others. Okay? Now, I know how Scorpios get. We can be a bit short. So, let me emphasize. Lovingly guide others. Okay? Don't be rude. Don't be short. Be understanding. Be compassionate. Understand that you were once in their shoes, not knowing what is going on, what to think, what to do. Okay? So lovingly guide others. My beautiful Scorpios, the last card 
in the Archangel session of your reading. And thank you to Doreen Virtue for this Archangel deck. So the last cards, beautiful souls, is Gifts from God. And this comes from Archangel Sandalphon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Beautiful souls, gifts from God. Your intuition. You're actually psychic. If you expand on your intuition, that gut feeling, you know, that gut feeling you get when something's wrong or when you think something's wrong or when you think something's going to be really good, well, that's your gut feeling. Expand on that and you will see that you are truly psychic. And I'm pretty sure there are many other gifts that you will discover on your spiritual journey. Basically, getting to know your authentic self. Because when you tune in to your soul, beautiful souls, your soul knows the way. So your soul will guide you. And you will discover so many, so much phenomenal things about yourself that you, well, that you knew, but somehow you forgot. So, good luck on your journey. Now, beautiful souls, that ends the Archangel portion of our reading. We are going to move right on to the spiritual portion of your reading. The first card that popped out for you is Become Still So You May Hear God. For the life of every living thing is in his hand and the breath of every human being. So beautiful souls, God has your back. Seek him, and you do not need to go through anyone to talk to God. God is within you. But you do have to be still in order to hear him. So, best thing to do is sit in a room by yourself, sit in solitude, and examine your thoughts, observe your thoughts. And if you need assistance doing that, please, Scorpios, go on over to Healing You Now 1010. They focus on natural healing. Right now, there are two meditations. There is a Just Breathe meditation, which basically teaches you how to breathe and achieve your calm. And there's also Achieving Clarity meditation to achieve clarity. And make sure that you uh, join that Instagram page so this way you do not miss and upload. All right? Now, beautiful Scorpios, the next card that popped out for you is release your cares to God. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, then I would fly away and rest. So for you guys who are feeling really overwhelmed, beautiful souls, let go and let God. Give it to God. And take a nap. (laughs) Okay? Trust God. Trust your process. Give it to God. Say, God, take the wheel. And he will. And you go take a nap. He doesn't need your help. He is the most powerful existence there is. Everything is possible and anything is possible through him. So go ahead, rest, give your cares to your heavenly father. He knows what's best. The next card that popped out for you guys is 
Make the best of every situation. And didn't I just say this? <laughs> Beautiful souls, with God, everything is possible. So, see the positive side of everything. Put out positivity, you get positivity back. See the brighter side of everything. The last card in your spiritual session is it's time to be adventurous and play. The flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come. And the cooing of turtle doves fills the air. So, my Scorpios, if you have been on a long spiritual journey like myself, it is truly time to take a break, take a vacation, go outside, play, go to the park, get outside in nature. Now, if you're someone who's been locked in the house since COVID was announced, you need to get outside, smell the fresh air, feel the breeze in your hair, feel the grass under your feet, be into nature, beautiful souls. God put it all there for you to enjoy. Oh, beautiful Scorpios, that ends the spiritual portion of our reading. Let's move on to the romance portion. So the first card that popped out for you guys is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, for those in a relationship, you may have been displaying uh, behaviors, you know, that you basically learned from your childhood. Forgive your parents. Love your parents. And this will teach you how to forgive within your relationship. The next card that popped out for you guys is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So let go and free yourself. So for instance, right now, we have all been enslaved. We've been working tumultuous hours, not getting paid what we deserve, what we, what we are worth. And God is freeing us from that. So beautiful souls, free yourself they do say instead of working on someone else's dream why not create yours you are a child of god you are a creator yourself so why 
work for someone when you could build your own dream. Beautiful souls, the next card that popped up for you guys is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So beautiful souls, love yourself first. You do have to love yourself before you could love anyone else. Respect yourself. Respecting yourself shows that you love yourself. And your soulmate will actually be attracted to you because you are respecting yourself. Because you are loving yourself. No one wants to be with someone who doesn't love themselves. Because how are they going to love you? Right? Now my beautiful Scorpios, the last card that popped out for you guys is children. Your love life is being affected by children. So beautiful souls, um, if you're single, maybe someone that you are attracted to has children. You know, if that is who you want, would like to be with, and let's say you're single, you have no kids, then once you... You know, if you love the person, obviously you're going to have to love his children, right? Because you can't, or her, because you can't take the female or the male without, you know, and leave the children, right? No. So, if you are not, if you don't feel that you are capable or ready to have children, then guess what? That guy or female is not for you, right? Now, if you are someone that, and you, you know, you love this person and you are like, you know what? I'm going to take you and everything you come with. That is love. And please, when you make that decision, understand that you are now a mother a stepmother or a stepfather and you step into that role okay and you do what it is that a stepmother or a stepfather would do which is help with half of the responsibilities of that child or those children shouldn't have to be told you take the initiative and you do what needs to be done. Okay? So, you know, if someone has a kid, you know, you can hardly find someone without children. You know, these days. So, as long as you know within yourself that I'm not going to mistreat these children, (laughs) you know, go on with a relationship. Okay? Children shouldn't prevent, you know, children are uh, miracles. So they really shouldn't prevent anything. Now, if you're thinking of, oh, my God, uh, what about child support? What about my finances? Then, beautiful soul, you do not love the person that you, (laughs) that has the children. Okay? Because when you love, you love unconditionally. All right, you don't love and be like, oh my God, that person has no money. Wow. Okay. I mean, yes, you want to think about your finances, but the most important thing is love. Okay. (laughs) Scorpios, thank you guys so much for joining me.
I really hope I helped you guys and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I am a Scorpio, by the way. So reason I did not do your reading yesterday, um, I did not want to tap into my own, my own energy, which I didn't because all these cards are basically things that I've gone through like years ago. <laughs> so I'm really happy that I was able to pick up on you know, the collective Scorpio energy and not my own. And in regards to uh, Sag and Libra, I actually know individuals that, you know, are those signs. And I did not want to pick up on those energies. So I actually, you know, had to um, get rid of that and make sure that when I do the reading, it is for that particular sign collective science collective okay so i do apologize for the delay guys i will be a lot better um as time goes by all right uh next month what i'll do is actually upload it uh more towards the beginning of the month rather than towards the end all right so beautiful souls thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for the energy that you gave to me until next time see you guys later may god bless you guys abundantly in all aspects of your life have a wonderful evening thank you for watching bye